10. Of course, Regina still helps Casey with her homework. Together, we sit there at that table every afternoon, and we'll, we'll do this work, and we'll do whatever it takes. Yay! Just awesome. Just awesome, girl. Do you ever feel like the Lord is testing you? I feel like the Lord has blessed us. I know she was a perfect child. Maybe I wasn't the perfect mother to have this happen to, but I'd like to think that I've done well through all of it. And I, uh, I give God praise because he brought her through it. She's alive, and I'm thankful. Now, two and a half years after the surgery, Casey is conquering a mountain of challenges to her independence. This is great. From skiing in the winter to snorkeling last summer, Casey continues to astonish her parents. It was terrifying to me to think that she was out there swimming and she only had one arm and one leg, but she'd put the mask and the flippers on and away she'd go. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Now a senior, Casey has become accustomed to using only her left hand in her day-to-day -day activities and needs very little help. Yeah. Doctors say Casey's impaired right side won't improve much more. Don't burn yourself, Casey. Just as her body is adapting after the surgery, so is Casey's brain. She is a totally different person when she started uh, school this fall. So how was your Monday? Yeah. <laughs> she's more willing to talk. She's more willing to be open about what she can and can't do. And she gives it uh, every effort. I think she's, she's getting some of that old Casey confidence back. I can talk. I can, like, you know, like, really communicate. Casey's brain continues to build new pathways, something doctors weren't sure it would do because of her age at the time of the surgery. Okay, you're going to do that. You're going to do two more. How is it with your speaking now compared to the last time I saw you? It's g doing better. But sometimes you still have to struggle, right? Yeah. But right after the operation... I can't... I mean, you couldn't say... Blue. You couldn't say blue. Right, and so it's like... Now, but if I ask you what color the sky is, you say... Blue. But reading is the toughest of all. Oh, man. And that is a big struggle, right? Very, very, very. S, I, P, full sip. Very good. When doctors removed the left half of Casey's brain, they took away not only her language center, but her ability to read, too. The idea. Next. So she spends at least an hour every day after school learning to read again. But the one subject Casey's been studying hardest lately doesn't require much reading. If you're driving down a neighborhood street and you see kids playing, what's the first thing you should do? Slow down and stop. At 16, Casey's passion for driving is even stronger than it was a year ago. So excited. Nervous, nervous, yes. Very nervous. I'm excited. Casey scores 100 on her driver's ed exam. But getting behind the wheel is quite another test for her and for her parents. It's kind of a hard um, thing to do, though. You've got a child that's paralyzed and half a brain and to say, yeah, we're going to let you drive. Can we go now? Is it safe? Okay, let's go. Casey's car is modified so she can stop and go with her left leg and steer with her left hand. But the surgery also left Casey with no peripheral vision on her right side. And the state of Oklahoma initially denied Casey a driver's license for that reason. So Casey's getting special glasses to extend her field of vision. And she'll apply again. Did it seem strange to be back there behind the wheel and you were the one that was in control? Yes. In many ways, Casey's parents are no different from the parents of any 16-year-old. So it's not like you're going to be getting a lot of tickets? That's right. I'm a cautious driver, safe driver. <laughs> But for Casey's parents, it's not the driver's license itself that matters so much. It's just a symbol of something much more important. She wants her independence. I mean, she's already told us she doesn't plan on staying with us forever. She wants to, <laughs> she wants to leave this place and live her own life. And that's what she should do. That's what growing up's all about. I feel very lucky. If somebody said to you, mm -hmm. you're an amazing example for so many people, what would you say? I don't feel um, like amazing person I, I feel normal i mean like you know half my brain cut out you know that's a big deal you can say that so easily i had half my brain cut out i mean it's no big deal i'm really blessed that's yeah that, that's it just a few weeks ago doctors performed the same operation casey had on a 15 year old nebraska girl amber ramirez who also suffers from rasmussen syndrome well, the doctors are concerned whether the brain can rewire itself in someone as old as Amber. So far, she is said to be doing well.